Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so I don't know what this video is gonna look like uh, at the end of the day, because I got a bunch of stuff I've been filming over the last 36 hours. My apologies for not uploading sooner. I have a very good respect now for what it takes to actually do YouTube and compete at the same time uh, in a different country. Very difficult, uh, Wi-Fi not super readily available. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> let me give you a little recap of what's happened so far. So right now when I'm filming, it is the night of Friday, Friday night. So we just had our first full day of matches. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, probably like one of the my favorite days of my life, <laughs> maybe. I mean, not the favorite day of my life, but one of my favorite days of my life. Uh, I was lucky enough to have a right-handed match, which uh, just got decided yesterday uh, against a guy named Jason Hill. Super strong dude uh, from here in the UK. Didn't really know anything about him other than I watched a few videos last night and saw that he was a hooker. Really good hooker. Um, I weighed in at 95 kg. He was about 85 kg. So that's like 20 pound difference, give or take a little bit, a little bit more, 20, 25 pounds. Um, so I, I did have a little bit of weight on him, but like, and I, and I, I did win, I think five to one, I think at the end of it. Um, so great competitor, had a really good time. I really kind of, it was really nice to get the jitters out, to get up on the stage, to get on the table in front of a lot of people. And uh, it was really nice because it was it was a it was a way for me to to come out with you know the kind of this evil uncle character. It wasn't it wasn't full evil uncle, but it was it was getting there. So uh, that video was broadcast live on Neil's channel. I know there's been some issues. Uh, I don't know if that video is even available now because there were some copyright issues going on with the live stream. Because unfortunately, the way the the stages are set up, we are on one side of the hall, and then there's another stage, the same size as ours, on the other side of the hall. And they were doing like dance stuff all day long, which is fine. Nothing against dance stuff, but the music was just obnoxiously loud, and it's like ACDC and Guns and Roses and all this stuff, which is also fine. But it was giving uh, copyright strikes to Neil's account. So we couldn't really do that. So that's that's the reasoning behind the issues with the live streaming. Uh, it was okay with the actual Wi-Fi, but it's been a very difficult situation and that has been the low, the lowest of problems on uh, a lot of other things. So um, Ryan Espy is here now. I think the Bulgarians are on their way. I think Bojadar and Sasha are on their way. Um, my match, my left-handed match is tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm by myself right now, there's six guys, six guys in here. I'm in here with uh, Sandra Sadis, Coach Ray, Froda, Adrian Popescu, and, and another Latvian guy uh, whose name I forget at the moment. Uh, but everybody else, Jeff, the Hale, and I, we went to get our because we got to do more tests, right? You got to do a test on two days and you got to do a test before you go back, blah, blah, blah. So we had to leave the event early to go get that done. And then we just got back and everybody else is still at the event. So that's why I have a moment. So I thought I would just record some stuff while everybody else is, is out and about. Um, where am I going with this? Rambling, I, I apologize. I'm very tired still. The day was very long. I did see Eddie Hall today. I saw uh, Flex Wheeler today. Uh, I think I saw Terry Hollins too, the world's strongest man guy who just retired. That was pretty cool. Um, great matches. All the matches were super great. Everybody was super intense, really, really firing all, on all cylinders. I think once the footage is out the way it's intended to be uh, shown, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow everybody away because there was some serious characterization going on. There was some serious high voltage intensity and some really, really good matches. The, the last match I saw before I had to leave was Frodo Haugland uh, versus Bogdan Stoika. And that that was probably match of the day. That was a ripper. Seven matches. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys... I don't think that was live streamed, so I'll let you guys find out about that on your own. But it was freaking awesome. Um, so tomorrow, left-hand match. Uh, same time, I think, as today. Things might get rearranged. I'm not sure. Uh, and then a full day of matches. And then we're also going to be doing some dark matches, meaning not live streamed and not uh, necessarily at the event. 
uh, just to set other things up. So that's pretty cool. And then tonight, uh, once the camera guy gets back, I am scheduled to do uh, some interviews. Uh, I got to do an interview for both of the matches. So I'll do an interview for the right-handed match and an interview for the left-handed match. And right now I'm just, I'm just going to take a shower because I smell like hell. And there's a hundred thousand people at the NEC in Birmingham. And, uh, it was very full, very cool. Also big thanks. There was like four people who I had never seen before in my life that came up to me and they're like, uncle John, I'm a big fan. I watched your show. And, uh, like they just came up to me and that has never happened to me before in my life. So thank you guys for coming out and supporting and, and having a good time. And hopefully uh, I see you guys in the coming days as well. Uh, and feel free. I want to meet everybody. Uh, everybody has been super nice. Everybody's super cool. Um, so thank you guys so much. I'm literally having the, the time of my life uh, here at Armors. So thank you, Neil Pickup. Thank you to everyone involved. Thank you to all the other pullers. It's been nothing but a, a, a great time. Uh, nothing. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about any of this. There's been lots of problems like like with the travel and people not being able to make it and whatnot. But uh for me, this is this is this is dr the dream, the dream. Period. Right now. So thank you uh, for everyone responsible for that. All of you guys that helped me with super chats and everything to get me here, amazing. So uh, I'll, I'll I'll be obviously I'll be throwing some uh, B roll footage that I got. I've been getting quite a bit of footage on my actual camera and not just my cell phone camera. So that'll be coming out a little bit later. But uh, I'll, I'll throw some spice in here uh, just to keep you guys occupied. Uh, but let me know, what, what else do you want to see? Do you want uh, some interviews with anybody in particular? Uh, maybe I'll try to go live later tonight, possibly. Um, we do have Wi-Fi at the place we're staying. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But overall, I'm very tired. I'm going to have to get a lot of food in me tonight and take a lot, get a lot of sleep tonight to get ready for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is like, I'm really happy that I won today. But tomorrow is it, right? Tomorrow is Bradford. Time is short. Tick tock. Uh, I've met David. I've sized him up. Uh, he's about as big as I thought he was going to be. Um, and I've gripped up with him a little bit. Right-handed. I gripped up with him. Felt what that felt like. So get ready. Get ready for tomorrow. Eleven, As far as I know, 11 a.m. tomorrow, I will be pulling. That's UK time. So central... Uh, well, Atlantic, that would be 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 a.m. Central, and so on and so forth. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Maximum effort. We'll talk to you soon.